Good evening and good morning to everyone. Uh, it's Kai and Greg Hayes again, your Elite Pro 8 leader from Austin, Texas. We hope that you are excited because we are both excited to be here at our first Tuesdays of the month exclusive training call with our Executive Master Pro 10, Blue Elam. And yes, each month he saves his valuable time for us to join our Life Vantage Philippines team. So for those of you who are here tonight and have just met Blue today, here's a brief background for you to get to know him a bit. Okay, Blue is married to his beautiful wife, Ray, and are blessed to have six wonderful children. His professional career started as a fireman, yes, and he learned about uh, Life Vantage from a friend. And without any network marketing experience, you guys, he and his cousin called took a deep dive in the network marketing space. And just like every one of us here, after seeing that powerful ABC primetime investigative video, the rest was history. And through hard work and commitment, he achieved the Executive Master Pro 10 rank. Woohoo! And through this, his rise, um, Blue and his family, of course, life is very, very um, unpredictable. They faced incredible challenges in lives, you guys. And even through all these adversities in life, I'll let you tell his story. They have still a smile on their faces and service in their heart. So thank God they said yes to this life vantage opportunity by being a person that can dig the well before they get thirsty. So Blue and his family have been such an inspiration to thousands of people and today, he will focus on our topic on how to become a Pro 3, like I said a while ago, and, ha, and above, of course, Pro 3 and above, and how to create a Pro 3 factory moving forward to help achieve your goals. So take it away now. Blue, are you there? Yeah, Kai, can you hear me okay? Awesome. My internet service here is not wonderful, but I think it will work. We... Um, we actually are down in Arizona right now at our ranch. So there's a time change. Um, and there was like saving all the stuff that kicked in this month. And so it did our, our other stuff as well. So I will work with Kai to make sure um, we get a, a good time or at least uh, try to keep your guys' time the same. But we'll make sure that I can continue to do these. Plus, we have other leaders, you guys. There's, this has been catching on. You guys have been doing so much hard work and and making good ripples and good waves to the point that we have other leaders that are asking me, can I get on and, and can I help? Can I support? Can I do some of these trainings? And so I, I think there's going to be value in possibly having um, uh, eventually what I will call different, different levels of training. Because what I've found is that, uh, and this will go right along with the training today, um, with the different phases of business, with the different skill sets that we learn step by step. We don't expect the brand new person to jump in and get on stage and, and teach and mentor 5,000 people at an elite academy, right? That is, that is a process. And, but we do have, um, in my opinion, have training that if I had all pro ones on this call, I think there would be a very different conversation than if I had all pro sevens, right? I think that's just fair to say that there's a different focus when your brand, when your team has other leaders and has volume and has questions, then you become a mentor, then there's other training that we can give, different training. Um, and I don't even think it's necessarily more advanced. It, you might think of it that way because it's a higher rank or a higher um, you know, skills or it's more skills. But I do think that it's a different focus point. Um, what I have found is as a pro one, two, and three, it seems like we're very, very focused on databasing, inviting, and enrolling. That is our, our key job, right? As pro threes, fours, and fives, we have a team who is now focused on databasing, inviting, and enrolling. And so a lot of times they need help with presentations. And so our focus, and we discussed this, um, I think it was two months ago on this call, our focus at those ranks seem to adapt a little bit and we start to focus primarily on those behaviors to help present and get the information uh, to the people that our pro ones, twos, and threes are inviting. And it doesn't mean we stop inviting or stop enrolling. It just means that a good portion of our time is now dealt with, with mentoring them and teaching um, 
teaching for them, right? Teaching with them, um, being the, they're not confident yet in all the information. If they get a little stumbly when they get to the, uh, com- you know, compensation plan or they don't quite understand how dynamic compression works or they start talking about some of the products and, and it gets very, very difficult for them or um, whatever that is. We just want to be there, locked arms, holding hands and a support for them. And typically that's our one, twos and threes inviting people and we need our fours, fives and sixes just pouring into them, pouring their heart, their love, their, their information, their talents into them. Um, and then when we get to the point where we're having, you know, sixes, sevens, eights on this call, I think it would be valuable to, um, and I would love to, to facilitate some of that because there's a different conversation and some different things that we can talk about very frankly when we're talking to our elites, trying to get to eight, trying to get to nine and trying to get to a master pro 10. Those are, those are a different set of skills. It took me a long time at pro nine to learn what was needed to get to pro 10. There's a different, again, not a different focus, not, not that we put other skills away, but we have to also adapt new ones. So our arrow, our, our quiver, if you would, right, that holds the arrows <laughs> has a lot more, more, more arrows in the quiver. We have a lot more skills, a lot more things we have to focus on. And so I hope that concept of aggression makes sense. I used to call it progression training, and we had about a four-hour training that we would teach the process of becoming a professional, of becoming an elite. And it was very, very much first focus on mastering the database, the invite, um, and then someone else would help you present, and then you master the follow-up and the, and the the ability to answer questions and get them into the business by enrollments. So that was our first focus for everyone. And it's really where we want to focus tonight. Because if you're trying to be a pro three factory, right? I think that's kind of what we named this call. Kai and I were talking about what the focus was. And she was telling me in June how they, um, I don't know, what, what date was that, Kai, that, that you mentioned? It's right before the... Um, June 10th. 10th, Okay. Oh, um, June, June 10 is the Pro 3 conference, is, the second Pro, the 3, Pro 3, conference. 3 conference. Right. And so when I heard that was lined up, I thought for this call and maybe next call, we can really focus on what I call a Pro 3 factory, right? It's us focusing on our teams and ourselves and, and identifying as many people as we can that are fairly new, potentially, that have the desire to be a Pro 3 in the company. Pro 3 is that magic rank right? Pro ones and twos kind of come and go. But when you get someone to pro three, there seems to be um, months, months, months extra into their, their energy levels and their effort, right? Now we got to get them to four and five and I get that. But at pro three, if you look at the, the average income statement at pro three, you look at what, what the average order is um, or a $200 subscription and then what people make as a pro three, it seems to be the point where it doesn't make sense not to do it. Right? <laughs> That's how I put it. When, when you're making enough to cover your expenses and you at least break even or have a little extra and there's a profit, um, that seems to be a fun place. And you have the products to use and you become a product of the product. You start feeling more healthy and, um, and everything just starts to kind of play out. But it seems that that, that, Pro three rank, right? We call it the fundamental rank. Thanks for putting that in the in the text. That that is the the focus. Um, if you want to to break new ranks, and if you personally want to break rank. Now, what I have found though is that most people, if they just focus on themselves hitting a rank, it usually doesn't seem to work. I gotta enroll more and do more and and invite more, and it, it, it's all good effort and it's good good. Um, verbally it works, right? But when you put that effort to the road and physically have to go build it, I have found that the, the actual work gets done when you say, get, let me identify my brand new distributors, my pro ones and pro twos that can get to pro three. And if you can help five or 10 or 15 or 20 new pro threes break, watch what happens to your personal um, rank right? You still have goals to hit rank and in, in certain income levels. And we appreciate that. And you should have those. But very few times do I see people hitting that when they're only looking at themselves. This is a business of service. This is a business of giving back. And if you can reach down and pull others up into the pro three rank, you're going to find yourselves hitting, hitting a, uh, a bigger rank. 
um, and I'll and I'll say typically that's where we get to four and five. And again, when I say to, to get to from five to seven, we have some of those on this call, and a, and it's a little harder to focus on just one conversation because we have so many different ranks. But in all reality, when you're a pro five and you're trying to get to pro seven, if you personally just go try to enroll a bunch of people and get to pro seven, it's going to be very tough. There's not usually enough hours in the day to to have enough exposures by yourself to go make that happen. But if you teach your pro threes <laughs> to and how say, hey, you got to pro three, you obviously know how. And I'm sitting at a pro five and I got 10 pro threes on in my business. All I got to do is teach those pro threes to go help three people each get to their rank. They will all hit pro five, right? And that that pro five will probably be sitting at six or seven. That's how Kai, myself, that's typically when you ask us to break down how we did it. We could go back and name a whole bunch of pro threes that had to break to get our, our few pro fives to, to hit rank, which those pro fives allowed us to get to, to pro, pro six and then probably pro seven if you can get five pro fives in different legs, right? What's the volume of a, of a pro five? It's 20,000, right? And if you have from, from five to six is a pretty big jump. It's one of the few times in our company where you more than double your current volume to get rank. Um, from eight to nine, it more than doubles, but everything else typically doubles. But from five to six, we have a pretty big gap and it's pretty easy to cover. If you, if you focus on the 30,000 increase, it's pretty tough. If you focus on getting a bunch of people to pro five, then it seems to take care of that gap fairly, fairly quickly and fairly easily. So um, before tonight is over, I'm going to open up the line and ask a couple of you guys what you did primarily to get to pro three. Now, this isn't a big philosophical question. I just want some of the work ethics, the behaviors, the daily, um, your daily mode of operations. And probably you guys probably call it, um, I call it, you know, some call it bean counting as a joke because I had a, a mentor that's told me to put five beans in one pocket and don't go to sleep until all five beans are in the other pocket. And the only way you're able to move one of the beans to the other pocket is if you talk to somebody new um, or whatever goal you're after, invite somebody new, do a presentation that day. And so some people were up at late at night going over to the mall to talk to somebody because they had two more beans in their right pocket and they were trying to get the bean to their left pocket, but it caused them to push and do the extra mile. That's really all we're looking for. Any system that you have that pushes you to do the extra mile. I won't give you a specific thing tonight. Kai might be able to give you a little more specific training on her Saturday calls and things like that because she's very involved with what you're doing. And I don't want to step in and mess those things up. Her and I can correlate a few things and give some ideas. Um, but what I would love before tonight's over is for maybe three or four of you or five of you to, to just jump in and take maybe one minute and tell what you did primarily to get to pro three. Okay. Cause that's the term, even if you're pro four or pro five, or even if you just hit pro three or even a pro two, I think it would be okay to say, Hey, here's what I'm doing right now to get to pro three. Cause there is certain behaviors and focus when we're brand new that I think will, will come out if we have those conversations. And so we'll do that in just, in just a second. I do want to share, I'm going to see if I can share my screen for one second. There is a couple of quotes that I think, I've shared in the past, but I just want to bring up, um, I just had the chance and the opportunity to be asked by corporate to go speak um, in the corporate office to a camera, which is tough sometimes, because they were recording presentations for our Europe uh, Elite Academy coming up, which, was, which is awesome. So um, I just threw some stuff together, and I thought I shared some of this because I looked back on my last couple of calls with you guys but I know there's a lot of new people. And so I just wanted to, to bring us up to speed on a couple of things. And then before tonight's over, I have one little surprise that we'll throw out here and we'll go through before we're done. But I just want you to know a couple of things because if you're on this call, I'm going to treat you like a leader, okay? My goal is, is and I don't know, if we have some, maybe some new people, some pro ones, pro twos, and I'm not saying you're not leaders. I'm just saying that you have uh, some phases to go through and some people to find and some volume to create um, before you have a team. And when you have a team following you, now you become a leader, right? That's really what the definition of a leader is, right? It's somebody with a following. <laughs> and as we create 
following, not wait for one, but as we create a following, then we become a leader. And this call is designed to teach leaders how to attract more followers. Okay. And, and in a good way, there's ways. Um, I'll just say this in reality, right? And I don't want to focus on this, but, but there are good and bad leaders, right? There's people that, that create a following in the wrong direction, or um, we, we know history. We know some of the bad wars. We know some of the bad stuff in this world where you're like, man, that guy was a leader and maybe a good, good leader because he got a lot of followers to, go, to, do, the, to do the wrong thing, right? <coughs> so I just want to make that apparent that good leadership is, is inspiring people, right, to do a good thing. And what I feel good about is with Life Vantage, we have something so powerful and so um, maybe unique when you really dig through our products. If you, if you more and more you understand the products we have, you're going to say we have something very unique. As a paramedic, I dug through the products. I read the little words. I read the big words, right? I could dig through it in a way that helped us understand that we had something very special. And if you really, really want to dig through our compensation plan, if you understand the word dynamic compression and you can teach it, right, and understand it first and then teach it later, if you can understand that, we have something very special. Um, if you understand our, some of our, our, our pools and our pool bonuses and how they work and how anyone on this call right now can participate in all of the growth and volume that we have already created across the, the world, right? When you get to the elite ranks, you get to participate in something that we've already created worldwide. And that is unique. That is something special in our comp plan and our products. And when you really dig down, you're going to say, we have something special. It's fun and fine to say, my friend Kai Hayes told me we have something special. Um, I believe her. You know, um, <laughs> that's one thing. But when you say, hey, I attended this event coming up in June. I was there. I own something amazing. It's mine. You take responsibility. Um, it empowers you to take ownership. Think your voice changes a little bit. Your confidence changes. The ability to attract followers changes when you have that kind of posture, right? That your backbone's straight. You're strong. You're saying, man, this is special. I'm part of something special. It's no longer something my friend does, something I'm thinking about doing, something I'm trying. It's a product I'm trying to see how if it works. When, when that passes, and you may have to go through that. I'm not going to going to just give you a shortcut. If that's your path, that's fine. But when that's over and you own it and you realize what we have, and uh, maybe on this call, we can get into some of those specific details, especially with comp plan and a few things. Um, just know that there's a, a valuable piece of, <laughs> of information in each of those categories from being publicly traded to our products, to our company, to our timing, the trends, um, even our system, even, even the ability to, to, Call one of the top leaders if you need to and get questions answered, right? To reach out to a Pro 8, Pro 9, Pro 10, to, to get on a monthly call and to have mentorship, to ask questions. That's not available very, very many places. And um, I hope you guys realize that, that there's a lot that we have here that is special. So, um, and that's for Life Vantage in general. And especially when I talk here on, on Kai's team specifically, because you've known her dedication and her ability to travel and be there and live there and just lock arms and build. And um, you guys have been amazing as a couple to, to do that together. So, so thank you. But the term leadership to me means something. Okay. And if we're saying you're one of our leaders and let's train our leaders, let's get on the phone with our leaders. Uh, it's important. So one of the things I want you to know is a leader is close enough to relate, but just far enough ahead to inspire. Okay. It is a difficult balance, I'll put it that way, to be vulnerable, to share the hard times, to talk about the times when things were tough, um, talk about our pre-launch in the U.S. People think it was easy. It was very tough. You know, we were writing um, our friends' names and credit card numbers and everything on a piece of notebook paper because that's where we were in the company. That's how early we were. Um, that's tough. Can you imagine some of those things? And you guys are going to, through tough things as well. We, we understand that. The ability to share those things in the right light, in the right uh, way to say, hey, we, we went through some tough things. 
we know what it's like to pre-launch. And because we went through it, let me show you some things. Let me hopefully share with you a faster way to get from point A to point B. Let me show you how not to get bogged down in, in maybe daily modes of operation that, are, that aren't valuable, right? That aren't productive. Let me show you how to um, increase the, the um, time it takes to gain skills, the time it takes to enroll our first five people the time it takes to hit pro three, right? What if we could, we could share those things? And I hope uh, a good leader is close enough to share the hard stuff and close enough to share um, the good things so that you can be inspired. And good leaders are always just far enough ahead, I think, to continue to inspire. I want to be like, hey, I got to get to where blue is. I got to, and, and those positive inspiration aspirations are amazing. That's what we want to do with these calls is to give you hope, um, to give you not, perfection at all, because there's a lot I'm learning every day, but to give you maybe inspiration by saying, hey, I've been there and we did overcome it. We got through it. And maybe I can show you a way to get through it faster than we did or, uh, you know, quicker or more appropriate or to, to, to not get bogged down so long and so on and so on. So that's one thing I just wanted to touch on. To me, it's, it's you on this call. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget your first week in the business. Don't forget your first phone call. Because someday you're going to inspire somebody by telling that story. And don't be afraid to tell it. Tell it and with, with posture and excitement. It was hard. It was difficult. I remember, you guys, that um, I always had a whiteboard and a stand because when we did a lot of face-to-face and home meetings, this was prior to COVID and everything. And my, my way of communicating with people was handshakes, right? I would drive five hours if I had to, to to meet you and shake your hand. It was better than a phone call to me because I was that kind of person and I was, wasn't good on technology and phones, but there was times when, when money was tight. I remember pulling off on the side of the road one time and I got a picture of us with the, with the whiteboards setting on the side of the road and it said needs gas. <laughs> and I used my whiteboard to, to tell everyone that we needed gas because we were, we were that close. I remember being parked at a gas station one time, waiting for my check to hit going to the, the mailbox with my wife so that I could use my card um, so you know, had to be in the mail that day so she could put it in the bank so I could use my card to get gas to keep going. Um, and so we've been there a lot of times that, man, I, you, you just don't know how hard it is. Uh, Mr. Elam or, or Kaya, you guys just don't understand. And I'm like, well, we probably do. If you talk to us long enough, we probably have some stories that would surprise you. You know, we would, we would go to the beach after driving for eight hours to California and uh, we would go to the showers where you rinse off the sand from the beach and we would take a shower <laughs> and the, change our clothes and we would go to our meeting and, uh, and help people, people learn how to do this business, you know? And so, um, and it's okay. That's just where we all start, but it's in- inspiring to know that we can push through that. We can hit pro three, we can get to pro five, get to pro seven. And when you get to pro eight, nine, 10, um, you know, if, if you go look at the average income in those ranks, and, and people say, I don't know if I can live off of that. Then I don't, I tell people, I don't know if we have uh, the skills to help you. If, if you might need different help, <laughs> if, if that, making that much is still not enough in, in the world today. So um, we laugh about it, joke about it, but just know that we're here to inspire you and hopefully willing to share and, and be vulnerable and, and uh, be real because we're just people like you, but we've worked hard. We figured a few things out and we hope to be able to share those. Uh, another one that's my favorite, I just shared again, most people negotiate the price of success so long that they would have been there now, right now if they would have just paid it, okay? Now, a couple months ago, I think I shared this, and a couple of you might have said, well, what does that mean to me today? I have a feeling if we talk about this each time just for a minute or two, one of these days you're going to say, oh, I get exactly what that means. I didn't get that last time. I didn't understand what he was saying about negotiating, but I've been negotiating. I shouldn't be. I've negotiated too much with myself, with my family. I've negotiated what package I bought. I've negotiated my monthly subscription. Um, I've negotiated, should I do a subscription or just buy it cash? I've negotiated a lot of things that are making my business difficult. Maybe if I just pay the price instead of negotiating and try to whittle that down, maybe I'll find success faster. Maybe I would have already have been there, right? When we hit pro seven in a matter of months and pro eight in the matter of the, a year, right? I don't, I can tell you the exact months. Um, 
And when you watch those ranks happen very quickly, I can ask when somebody says, how did you do it so fast? I can say, I didn't negotiate a whole lot. I listened. I took to heart from my mentors what to do. And I just paid the price. Sometimes that was traveling where it was hard and difficult. Sometimes that was traveling in between my fire department shifts, 24 on, 24 off, 24 on. And I had to travel a long way, eight hours, do a presentation and go eight hours back and go back to my shift at the firehouse. And so those things happen. But I would suggest that you find a way to pay the price, right? There's still balance in your relationships and your marriage and your kids and families. And I don't ever want you to, to put those things at risk. But I can tell you that there's magic in having the finances to support them, to help them. Um, Kai mentioned a little bit about the situation we went through. And, and I'll just simply say this um, for, for tonight. When I woke up in the hospital and found out my two daughters were paralyzed, my wife was going to maybe lose her leg and ended up getting amputated later. Um, all of these things hit me all at once because of a car accident. But we had just hit the executive master pro 10 rank one month prior to that accident. And the worry of finances was probably the only thing that I didn't have to worry about. Um, and that took a big load off. And I, I had a lot of other worries. I had my family to worry about, my daughters and, and, and parents and um, my, my siblings and my other kids that weren't in the accident. We had stuff to think about, but it was amazing to have some of those check boxes checked because we dug the well, we paid the price when things were okay, and it allowed us to have an, a well that was full and overflowing when we, when we needed it the most, right? When you need it, it's not a good time to start digging and to start looking. Um, this one example is sometimes what you see. And I'm going to use Kai as an example because I've watched some of her presentations. I've listened to her professionalism. I've seen um, everything from her, <laughs> the way she runs a Zoom to, I mean, her backdrop behind her, just very, very professional. She's been that way um, since we've met. And she learned a lot of that somewhere, maybe in other business and all the other things that she's done in her life. Um, me, I was a firefighter, a paramedic. And when I got involved here, I started breaking plates, right? Somebody said, here's how to juggle. Here's three plates. And I'm like, man, I can only hold two. <laughs> and then you start drawing and you start dropping stuff. And, and some people see it and laugh. And some of my friends looked at me and said, man, you're not going to do well. And you're not a public speaker and you're not a, a, a health guru, right? Um, a business mastermind. You know, it was just funny to hear. And I, I agreed sometimes. I'm like, well, I'm going to get there. I'm going to try. We're going to work hard. And we started breaking plates, stepping up another step. Got better stepping up. Pretty soon we can do three plates. And then someone hands you four and says, okay, learn something new. Now you're a pro three you not only need to invite new people and enroll them, you now need to support the people who are on your team doing invites. That's a whole nother plate. It's a whole nother set of skills that you stop, that you start breaking. It's a whole nother set of uh, responsibility that's, that's new, right? And then you got that figured out, you hit pro, pro, maybe pro five, and they're like, oh, can you go teach at one of our summits or can you go here and pre present to, to a thousand people? Can you please share your story? And you're like, oh my gosh, and here's another plate. And then you start juggling, you start breaking them again. <laughs> the good news is most of the time, if you look at the audience, the ones sitting in the audience, don't, they don't see all of that, right? I believe in showing them a little bit of it, saying, hey, I, I have a bunch of broken plates back here because I'm not perfect, to help them realize that getting on the stage isn't just a big jump to being, being really, really good, right? <laughs> it's not. It's a process. It's a step-by-step -step process of learning skills of inviting then skills of presenting and skills of mentoring. Those are the three main categories that I would suggest. And those are pro three, pro five, and pro seven skills. Learn to invite and enroll, learn to present, right? Really, really well, give the information well. And then the last thing is learn to mentor, which is teaching somebody to present, right? Fishing is one thing, but teaching somebody how to fish is a completely different, different process. I fished my whole life. My dad taught me and I fished and fished. When I started teaching my kids, it took a different level of understanding, a different level of patience, a different level of explanation because it wasn't just me doing things naturally that felt right. I had to explain what I was doing and help them understand why I do it. So huge, huge to me. Um, 
These are those same phases in a different, different verbiage, right? The first phase is we learn. We bring people to a presentation. We put them on a Zoom. When I, when I say a home meeting or bring them to a presentation, um, that's just the way I teach. But that presentation, we all know, comes in different ways. It might be at the corporate office with Kai. It might be on a Zoom. It might be on a phone call. Um, but it, when we're new, we bring the person with us to that presentation, and we actually learn. We take notes. Okay. I love watching some of you top leaders on this call take notes as a mentor because you're thinking, man, if I have to train people later, I need some of this. And you're just sitting there taking notes. It's valuable to always be learning. The do part of your business is when you're doing the work, you're doing the presentation, you have the, white, the, the whiteboard marker in your hand, and you're the one writing on the board. You're do, physically doing the work, and someone else can benefit from that by putting people in the room by inviting them and getting them in front of that. And so one thing I'll say is you have that opportunity quite a bit. I know when Kai was there, she was very consistent with the do men mentality so that all of you could just come learn and learn and learn. Um, when people leave, when we do this a lot, we go to a new area, a new country, a new city, a new state, and we, we pour our hearts and we teach and we train and we do the work. But when we leave, that's the true test. Because leaders are going to have to go from learn mode to do mode. <laughs> We're going to have to have people step up, do their own presentations, be the one in front of the room, be the one that says the information and can educate the new person. Because uh, there's some brand new people that are, are okay with inviting somebody, but they're not ready to, to give them a 30-minute, 45-minute presentation on all of the facets of our, our business. It's just, just so much, right? Now, one thing to learn is as a good teacher, which is the next phase, we want to teach you that you don't have to know all the science. You don't have to know, uh, be a CPA and know all of the, the dynamic compression and all of these pieces. If you think you have to know all of that, our, our, our teams will stall out and wait and paralyze themselves waiting for, for all this knowledge to catch up. So it's valuable to just walk um, and, and be in the process of, of realizing that you may know a lot. Sometimes even if you know a ton about the products, you're purposely going to want to simplify it so that the new person says, I can do that, right? Because if they see some polished person juggling 15 plates and you're telling them you're going to have to do that in the future, you might lose people just because they think that they have to do all of that tomorrow. But if you can show them it's simple, you don't have to know everything. If you do need help, ask us because we have the answers. And if we don't, Someone at corporate does or someone, you know, uh, one of our studies might have the answer or whatever need, is needed. But just know that the information is there that you just don't have to know it all by yourself. Another way to put this is first build belief, right? Then we go, we build and build and build and physically do the work. And then we become what I would consider an elite or one of the top leaders. That process is, is phases, okay? And the whole reason I wanted to get this through tonight is that if you're if you're having a hard time, and I've heard a couple of you that are like, man, this is a lot. I'm brand new, and I'm looking at people that are really professional, right? I was in your shoes, okay? I didn't know if us in the audience could be like them on stage. I didn't know if us at Pro Ones could be like those Pro Sevens and Pro Eights. Um, I'm here to tell you you can, okay? I'm here to tell you you absolutely can. And because we have a lot of ranks on this call, we're covering all these different phases. Sometimes we'll hone in just on learning and believing. Sometimes we'll focus just on doing and building. And then if we get the leads on a call, when you guys start hitting those ranks, Kai and I can really open up um, and explain to you some things that are mentorship processes that are very different than, than going out and physically doing the invite. It's, a, it's like buying 10 fishing poles handing them to 10 people and trying to coach them all at the same time. And there's strings getting tangled up. You got lines under the boat. You, got, <laughs> you have a mess, right? But you learn how to control that and to help them and to mentor them. And that's a different set of skills in this industry than anywhere I've ever seen. So um, let's look visually at what I'm talking about with Pro 3s, okay? To hit Pro 3, what do you need? You need 5,000 in organizational volume. Now, I'm going to represent that with five people at a thousand, that could be a package. Um, personally, I'm going to tell you, it's awesome to hit rank with packs, but I base my 
my foundation rank off of, off of what you have as subscriptions and monthly orders. The reason I say that is because those, those packs are awesome. There's a lot of volume, but as soon as somebody buys a pack, they go down to their normal smaller subscription for their family and for their personal use. That's the number they're going to have for long term. That's the number that you can count on. That's the number that you can pay a bill with or maybe a car payment or house payment or something, right? That's the number that's a little more stable than some one-time bought package. And so be cautious. Now, the fun part is if you have five packages every month that get purchased in your group, those packages turn to subscriptions. And then the next month, there's five new packages that get bought. And then those five turn to subscriptions and you keep working hard and there's five news. If that's a pretty standard thing for you, then then I'm not really talking to you because that's awesome. If you're going to do that kind of work and put that kind of effort and have that kind of subscriptions base plus new, new uh, packages, that's amazing. But all in all, $5,000 in those types of orders and repeat orders and subscriptions and, and cash buys or however you guys feel comfortable doing that. Um, I'm hoping you feel comfortable eventually with subscriptions. And I know there, I know the limitations to some of that, but I hope, that you guys as a team can work that out and find ways that you feel confident. Cause I believe your, your business will, will grow a lot faster if you're not having the logistical slowdown of, of so many steps and so many different pieces and parts of, of getting those orders to come through. So second step, what if I want um, to get to pro five? Okay. I have identified five people right there. My job is just to help them get to pro three. If I can help those five people, if I can be a pro three factory and help those five people get to pro three, it's automatically going to get me to pro five, right? If you think about it, if you look at what a pro three is at 5,000 and 5,000, 5, that's 25,000 in volume in different legs. You automatically get to a pro five rank. And that to me is your focus this month, next month, especially before the 10th of next month, how many people, and I'm going to say this probably a hundred times tonight. And I hope, hope that's what you leave with. How many, pro, how many people can you get to Pro 3 on your team? Even if they're in the same leg, that's, that's great. You'll have some support. Some of that volume will double up, and it may not quite get you to Pro 5 if all those Pro 3s are in one leg. But your best you can do, identify people in different teams and different legs and go out and say, what is it going to take for me to get you to a Pro 3 rank this month? That's 5,000 in volume. That can be done with packages. That can be done with orders from people that have already got involved. It can be a few customers that, that see that side of it. And they don't want to do the business. That's fine. But how many people can you get to pro three? If these five people go out and find five people each and get themselves to pro three, then you're automatically setting out a pro five. Yes. The world changes a little bit um, from three to five, by the way, it changes responsibility wise. Cause you now have um, a big role in helping what <laughs> look at how many people now that you're supporting versus just the handful that you brought in. Um, but income wise changes, the income statement form shows that, um, that that's a more substantial, consistent income. And then for me, it's, it's the ability to, to start training and to start doing those presentations and to be in a little more of what I would consider a leader. Why do I call that a bigger leaders? Cause look at the more following, look at how many more people are following that person. So pro five is key. Now, when you're setting that pro five and some of you are on this call, how do I get the pro seven? Okay. And it sounds fundamental, but it's simple. I need to help those pro threes, those five pro threes get to pro five. And so I need to teach them to identify five people each on their team to get to pro three. When they get those five to pro three, they automatically hit pro, um, pro five. And if you can help that in five different groups and you get to pro seven, this is the most stable, honest, complete, consistent way to hit pro seven and stay there because all of that volume, right? They're, they're subscriptions, they're, they're people, they're, they're not just orders um, to hit a rank, they're actual people in those positions with the name, with the social security number or whatever identification number you guys have. And they're, they're there to build a business, right? That is the value of what you have. So now you have a bunch of people ready to listen and to replicate what you're doing and to go out and build. So um, hope that's a, a little bit helpful. So some of that we talked about before, but I just want you to visually see that for the next month 
it's critical, in my opinion, to, to do that. But what I wanted to do is get off the screen real quick and to have maybe, you know, three or four of you share really fast, one minute, what was your number one focus and what did you do from the distributorship to Pro 3 rank? What was the, the skill set and the behavior that got you to Pro 3? And go ahead and raise your hand. We'll, we'll call on you real quick. Unmute and just share uh, the best you can. Real quick, one thought about getting to Pro 3. Math, go ahead. Math, go ahead. Thank okay, you. hi, good evening. One minute. Good morning, yes. Um, I became a Pro 3 in less than a month. All I did was open my mouth, share, invite. And while I was learning, I was learning. I just invite and set time and date and ask guy help, help. And, and that's it. So I became Pro 3 in less than a month, and I became Pro 4 in six months. But I got stuck there. So hoping. <laughs> Here, here's but, the thing. We're, we're teaching you the skills to go from three to five, right? Um, and really, if you could find five of you, right, which you're obviously um, amazing, right, to do it in 30 days. But what if you found five people this month that did that or a couple more people, right? So your job is to still look and find and still talk. But here's, here's you said it perfectly. I, I learned why I earned, right? I was in, in the process. I was bringing people, inviting them. And if I ever got stuck, Kai was there to help because that's what, what that phase is. It's you learning. You have a support system. You have someone to help you teach. You can bring people to the corporate office. And guess what? They get taught without you having to know everything, right? Because someone else is there doing that. So per perfect example. Anyone else have something similar we can share real quick? Uh, hi, Blue. Uh, nice meeting you last event in uh, Florida, by the way. Um, yeah, so I actually got to Pro 4 in 20 days, and that's it. <laughs> I'm stuck since then. <laughs> so I, I basically what I did is basically um, invite and enroll all my friends and families. But no one is working currently. So I would say probably there's a couple that uh, is, uh, is actually trying their best, but the rest are, I would say, dead. So my team is dead, basically, at this time. Well, here, here's the thing, and thank you for being vulnerable, right, and, and sharing. Here's, here's why you're on this call, right? You, you know how to get to Pro 3, right? You, you just said you have to, well, you know how to get past Pro 3 in 20 days. That's <laughs> not normal. <laughs> That's unique. That's exciting to get to Pro 4 that quickly. Mess as well. Thank you both. Here's the thing. There's this different set of skills, right, from 3 to 4 to 5. That's a different set of skills, and it took you to get to 3. And I think you're feeling that, which is fine. Now, here's what you have to do. You have a couple of people maybe that are like you, maybe not completely like you to do it in 10, 20 days, but they're there and they're wanting it. So start with them and make sure that if they want to hit pro three, you become a support system for them. And then the truth is sometimes you have to just work around those that are, that thought they were going to do something life changed. Those that wanted it, it's harder than they thought. What, whatever the reason, mm -hmm. go find five more, right? Put them yeah. in your organization. You have new, new energy. Those five people each have another 200 oh, names in the database. And that's another thousand people. And now you have a fresh group of people to work with so that, again, not so that you can get from four to five, so that you can help the new person get to three. That's, that's the, the verbiage. And if you'll help them do that, get them to the event coming up next month. And let's make a, a mad dash. We have a full month, almost six weeks, actually, right? Over six weeks to, to go run and, and, and make this happen. So thank you for sharing. Um, but, but I just want to point out that there is a different set of skills uh, from inviting to presenting. There's just a different, uh, different feel. And you never stop inviting and enrolling because you are going to have some people that change their mind. So do we have one more real quick? Time-wise, I think we're getting close here. One more. Eleanor. Eleanor, raise your hand. Thank you, Eleanor. Raising her hand, yes. Yeah, I'd just like to share. I cannot show myself uh, self because I'm in the verge of um, many things. But this is what I discovered since I'm also experienced, experienced so much in network marketing. What I like, number one, is the product. And then my belief system is so strong that I did merge myself in studying, researching about it. And then I fight for it. 
And then I talk to my friends. Let them see the beauty of the science, beauty, the benefits of the science, and let them come to my come to the group. While in my group, I think I did my part in educating them to become a pro tree. But again, it's their decision. It's their mindset. If the person's mindset is totally different, even how much you persuade them, they have their own sets of habits, habits that they don't want to go out of that uh, comfort zone, then I keep on, keep on searching people who have the same wavelength with my thinking. But still, I cannot guarantee even these people, I made them into a conclusion to decide. But again, it's um, the action. Everybody's Absolutely. willing, but they are not doing it. So I hit my profile, you know, that Atikai in my first month. And succeedingly up to this time, I still keep on rising to Pro 6. Yes. But I'm still stuck up in Pro 5 because you could see my volume that every leader changes their decision. They keep on changing and they're not consistent and persistent in their decision. But still, I can still grow up and build another pro trees, pro trees. I just built two pro trees this month, oh, last month. And, and um, I'm always having that good volume in my profile, even how much, is, uh, how much I want. But this month, definitely I'll rise up. I'm developing a new group of people who would go to my, uh, go with the same a wavelength that I have, and I let them see again and again my old and my new, the new vision of why doing this seriously. Because timing is everything that's really cool. We still have five weeks to go in the Philippines to boom this business, and I'm always there keeping up every day. When I wake up, up to before I, I travel and I work alone with my group, silently putting everything in my effort because I understood well. I understood well and I'm so excited to become elite. Very, very excited. I just attended the Baggy Road show. I was there silently and I was really boosted up. And I saw now why people are like this because I keep, uh, we were talking, Ati Madel, kami ni Ati Madel palagi, we're talking side by side every now and then of all my work and my decision and everything. Well, let me, um, Eleanor, thank you for sharing because that is... So passionate. Uh, mm -hmm. That is the passion we're looking for in everyone. It's awesome. Let me, let me just close with this because I know time's short and um, keep, I might have a few things to, to close on. But I just want to say this. That you guys are, what if, okay, let me just put this in your mind. You just heard what Eleanor did. Um, Jennifer, I'm going to use you as an example, hitting Pro 4. I think you said 20 days. Is that right? Yeah, that's <laughs> um, correct, Lou. Okay, so let's just say, <clears throat> for me, I worked hard. I worked hard, I worked hard, I worked hard, and I lost a few people. And I worked hard, and I found a few more people, which is actually what happened. And I found a guy, Chris Michaels, who's a good friend of mine. He works hard. And guess who he led to Kai Hayes. And I'm not sure how from Kai to you, Jennifer, but guess what? We found ourselves, even people that ran faster than us, we found someone like Jennifer who hit that rank in 20 days. And that's because of a friend who knew a friend who knew Kai, who knew you. The, the, what, I'm, what my point is, is right now your businesses are pretty new and pretty fresh. And mm -hmm. so we feel one person leaving a little more or, or whatever, but the reality is you are all, it, Kai's experiencing pro threes in 30 days, pro fours in 20 days. Pro, I mean, she's experiencing that in her group and some of you are experiencing that because some of these people might be in your group. But my, my point is um, we're never losing all of our leaders we're losing a couple people who change or life a lot of times you guys they still want it but they have a situation in their family and life changes a little bit or they have a a, a child they need to spend some time with and I, I i get so many so many um and i'm not even calling them excuses anymore they're just real life stories and it's okay some just love on them keep them warm we call them incubators right it's the egg that hasn't hatched yet it's the you keep it warm until they're ready Hopefully when they're ready, they, they tell you and you're there for them and they, they can grow. But the reality is you keep going like you guys are and you're going to find uh, another mess, another Jennifer, another Eleanor. And, I'm, and there's more of you. And I, I just, I'm just sharing those three names because they shared. 
but we're going to find more of you guys who are willing to get on these calls early in the morning when you could do a, be doing a thousand other things. Um, we appreciate you guys getting on. We appreciate you taking the time. Um, I'm excited for you guys to see how many, and this would be a goal this month, how many pro threes can you create this month? Okay. How many people can you identify that are close? Start with them. Jennifer, start with those people that you said are still thinking about it. They're close. They have to have some volume, some excitement, something still there. If they got involved, start with them. There might be just okay. a few and then go find five or six more push hard. That'll get you there. And maybe you can get two or three more people this month to that um, rank, which will get them to the event, mm -hmm. which they'll get to handshake and meet more leaders. And that might be where they actually hatch or take ownership or get more excited. Um, Eleanor, some of your people as well, they might actually get there and say, Hey, this is way bigger than I thought it was. I thought this was just something my friend Eleanor was doing, but no, this is huge. I own something big. I'm a uh, a distributor, a pr uh, independent distributor. I own a business for an amazing product, an amazing company. And that belief and that um, ownership is what will change your business. Cause those people will say, how do I get to pro five? I need to go get pro threes. I don't necessarily need help. I'm just going to go do it. Right. If you're here helping me, great, but I'm going to be the leader to help them instead of waiting for help from someone else. And pretty soon you have five of those in your team. They're all pro fives. And now you're a pro seven, and when we get enough pro sevens, you guys, we'll get Kai, myself, um, Greg, we'll get you guys and we'll, we'll huddle up on a call like this and we'll have a very different conversation about some things because it is an amazing place to be when you're sitting at a pro seven and you got different, different questions from your team, different um, concerns, but different excitements as well. When you get a phone call, I'll share this last one. I got a phone call from someone in Florida one time, called me on the phone and she was just in tears older lady, excited, uh, newly remarried. And she's like, Blue, you wouldn't believe what just happened. She's like, we finally hit a, a certain rank. And, but I, I don't remember the rank is specifically, but I know their check was $2,200 that month. And she said, you wouldn't believe that we spent $2,200 and um, we, we, we earned it. And then we spent it on things to, to um, make sure we're ahead, make sure we're caught up. She's like, I went on a date with my husband tonight and we only talked about the future. She said, that was the first time that my husband and I have been together where we didn't talk about bills and the kids and all this stuff and the issues. And she said, we just talked about the future and it was exciting. She said that took, it was, it took $2,000 to do that, but that wasn't a ton if you think about it, but it was a huge change in her life to, to not worry about some of the bills and some of the things that were late, they, they were caught up. Now it didn't, didn't just jump to 2000. They had slowly got their way there. They had slowly caught things up, but when they were there, I got a, a very um, awesome phone call. And you know what it did for me? That became, that's my new why you guys, that that's how that why came was to help other people because it was no longer about me making an extra thousand dollars because we were doing fine. It was about helping hundreds of people make the 2000, the $3,000 a month, go on a date with their spouse, talk about the future and not worry so much and get rid of the, some of this doom and gloom and, and all this stuff and just be happy. And the, the excitement and motivation that that one night caused for me went on another year, two years, three years, and I'm still talking about it. And it was about five years ago. <laughs> so you can, you can imagine on your team when somebody calls you and says, guess what? Um, that's what it means to be an elite to me. You get some of the guess what, my friend just left the business. Guess what? So-and-so decided not. you get those two, but you mix those in with a handful of guess what? We just hit volume and rank and we just progressed and we just hit some things we didn't think we would. That's what will, will change in your why it will keep you here forever. And that's what will get you to, to the master rank so that we can all huddle up together and have another very different conversation when you're sitting on the master rank, sitting on the FAB and supporting the entire company, working with the board of directors, um, it's a very different place to be again, because you've went through the steps, you know what it took to get there. We not shortcut our way there. We earned the entire process. We know now because we did it that way. We know how to answer the hard questions because we lived them. We know how to mentor somebody because we, we picked up the phone. Like we're asking them to do. We're not asking you to do anything we didn't do. So I'm sure Kai will give you some more specific direction 
Um, a lot of times on these calls, I don't have time to do that or, or, or maybe even because of the, the variety of ranks, um, the ability just to hone in on one, one rank, which we, we could do in the future is maybe have a pro three call, pro five call, pro seven, something when there's enough people in those ranks to do that, we'll, we could, we could have some different conversations, but for right now, this is great. We can still talk. We can still communicate. Um, don't be shy to share. You're welcome to turn on your cameras on the calls. You guys, we're just people. We want to help you support you, um, show you, we care, show you, we love you and, and, and offer support in any way possible. So Kai, I'll turn it back to you. I do have to go. Um, these calls are all bunching up back, back and back, but, uh, um, I let's know, keep I know. and I will get some other, um, leaders to help participate and hopefully we can, uh, not just see you on zoom soon, but we can shake hands, give hugs and, and, uh, and actually become the family that we're going to become. So Kai back to you and I got to run. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much blue for your time. And we will see you again. Thank we're you, definitely going to set up our pro three and above and pro five until you, we, we, we get a lot of elites, right? Uh, so that would be the next step. Definitely. We're going to be working with a lot of, uh, elites, elites pro eight, Pro nines and uh, of course, Blue will always be with us to train us for uh, skill levels. Okay, so get yourself to Pro three because we are going to take this to the next level training. Okay, you guys, thank you very much and thank you, Jen, uh, Ella, and Ness for sharing your uh, passion and your your successes to us. Ciao now, thank yeah, you, thank and I'll you see guys. you next <laughs> Tuesday, Sharon, every first Tuesday of the month. All right. Definitely. And we'll announce you to uh, announce the pro three coming soon and the pro fives, of course, in the Philippines and uh, the all Filipino pro fives. Definitely. Because it's a different uh, ball game. It's a different conversation. We need to train you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Blue.